Hello friends, by now we know only two types of data types, number and vector 2. Today I'll introduce one more data type to you that is date. While working with data many times you may feel the requirement to store and manipulate the data based on dates because playing with dates is not achieved by using number or vacar two types that's why we need to have one more data type and that is date for example we have a school schema what all roles a date will play here it can have admission dates of all these students or pass out dates for the students who are going out of the school. We may have any firm database in which the employees joining date is necessary or their retirement date is necessary to calculate their pension or leftover salaries or bonuses or their hikes. This type of requirements are fixed or catered using date data type. There may be cases in future when we will work with complex data and complex uh, situations with multiple databases linking together. We may need logging of the information which are the requirement of the dates on which the particular operations are being performed on my tables. To get operations performed on each or particular date of the month. So this type of logging is also possible using dates. We may have hospital scenario where we need when the patient is admitted to the hospital when he got discharged to calculate the fees and other billing details. This type of scenarios, these are few examples of the dates we can use to play with the data more easily and comfortably. All such scenarios need to handle and work on the dates, hence we need to use date data type for such data. First of all, we should know in which format we are working on stores the data. For example, I am working on SQL Developer, so I need to check out in which format the date it can be ex accepted by the system while inserting into any table or while looking back from the table. To check this, Oracle provides one dummy table. This table is single row, single column table known as known as dual. This dual is nothing but you can imagine it as a rough worksheet that you use while in your papers, in your examinations. So dual is nothing but a dummy table with single column single row facility if i select star from dual it will give me dummy column and x i can use this dual to perform various mathematical operations without having data in any of the tables in the system to check the system date format this particular environment in which i am working supports let's run the sys date keyword is used to get the system date stored in the system this is the current date 7 march 18 see the type or the way it is stored it is stored in the format dd mon then yy if the date is stored as 0703 
this will be the format date then month and then year number of y specifies that we are specifying full year 2018 number of digits we are using mm means we are providing in numeric months dd means date now here dd mon means the month is provided in text means its name is provided m a r and y y means only last two digits of the year date year is provided in the system these are the various types we can read the dates other samples you can also have you can use slash in, sp in places of hyphen you can use full you can use the pattern as like this also this will specify let's see one example if I have 07 March 18 this is this type of date format if I have 07 March 2018 format slightly changes month full month if I am writing in this means full spelling of the month will come now dd month y y y y means all four digits of the year are necessary or are provided so in the sys date with whatever we have selected now from the system it shows the current date of the system i am running this query on wherever you are running this query from that system it will pick the date and it will display in the format it supports now if we have 07 mar 18 we need to be careful while using date and inserting data in any date field we have to provide date in this format then only that will be accepted okay so let's create one table with a date column in it let's create table suppose patient and I will have various columns I want to have one patient ID as my primary key of this table I want to have their name stored so I'll use back at 2 I want to have hospital name as well along with this I want to have which doctor is being visited doctor visited by this patient again it will be name so varcar now I want to keep admitted on on which date this patient was admitted I'll use date here and discharged on okay date when this patient came to the particular hospital who was whom he visited and when he was admitted and when he was discharged this kind of information I want to store in my patient table run it table patient created describe patient these are the columns we need to use now while inserting the data what all points we should be careful about insert into table name values we will insert a single row and see how this date data type works first suppose one is the 
patient ID name let's say Helen hospital name let's say Max doctor visited Raj admitted on now is the turn to insert data in the admitted on column which is of date type we have already seen the type of date allowed in the system is ddmonyy this pattern should be followed while inserting the date i want to insert was admitted on the 17 11 december and not discharged got discharged on 21st december 17 this is my first record i want to insert run it one row inserted okay select start from patient data is present in my table now similarly if i want to insert in any other format i want to give here 08 instead of bc this will not allow me to insert this row it will result let's run it again now let's see it is throwing an error not a valid month because the format system supports is different from what we are providing as date in date column so there are other functions which help us to insert date even if it is in different format while inserting it will convert and it will store the date in the system required format all these functions we will be seeing in the very next video till that time just remember few important points about date data type first point says is used to store store complete information about date as well as time yes this particular date can have time also this has range from 01011753 to 1231st this is the range we can use while using date data type it takes 8 bit of storage memory this is all about the date data type we have to be on the toes while using this date data type thank you so much for watching this video subscribe my channel we'll see more functions we are, we can use in sql in coming video thank you